attention there. But so here's what I would do to send them off on a circle. This is the sort of the elementary version, but this is a good place to start. Uh, I get ready. I think about where I'm going. I'm going left. I, pr I prepare myself. I prepare to position. Notice my rope is not super slack. It's fairly short. So number one, prepare to position. Number two, I tip the attention. Number three, I bring my life up and get his, his life up. Now, I, he was a little sluggish for sure. He's like, I've been doing this a while this morning, but uh, I want a little more movement in there. And then when I get that movement, I'm going to get out of the center, cross those hind legs, offset, line out. All right. We could try it. To, we can all try it together here. Ready? Number one, prepare to position. Get your rope ready. Number two, tip the attention. Number three, get the life up. And hopefully the feet, that time his feet went way better, way easier. But the, you see the life come up before the feet are going to ever do what you need them to do. And then you have to think about which way your feet are going. Looking good, Galen. You have to think about which way your feet are going. If your feet go towards their hindquarters in any way, if I circle or arc in the direction of his haunch, even this, well, they're going to cross the hind legs. So what I like to tell people, step in the direction you want your horse to go. It's a little exaggerated, but it'd be something like this. Prepare to position, tip the attention, get the life up. I step to my left, and he circles left. Got that? Notice how I can pull the lead rope through my hand, though. Like this little, this little trick, being able to slide, so important. I can make the circle bigger by doing this. I make the circle smaller by pulling it through. And sometimes people want so much float in the rope but the horse gets lost. 